Hey guys, what's going on? Basshole here, aka Shane. Getting ready to go out to some ponds in Northeast Illinois to uh, try to hook up with some bass. So we'll uh, see you when we get there. One of the things I like doing when I come out to new lake, pond, whatever, is I like to really look around and see what's going on. Watch a couple of blow-ups, picking a couple of bugs off the top of the water. Now that could be bluegill, but they were fairly decent sized blow-ups. And I've seen a few bass swimming up close to the shoreline. So what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm gonna put on a, Top water here really quick uh, probably put on the whopper plopper and see if I can't get something because I feel like that may be a good choice of lures right now um, I'm gonna keep the wacky worm on and change out the swim bait bluegill and maybe go back to that a little bit later always dispose of your excess line properly. Oh, fish on, yeah. Nice one too. Nice one too. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So, I know I made the right decision switching up to the Whopper Plopper. Sometimes you just gotta change your mind. You go out there with a set idea of what you wanna fish and sometimes that's not always what they want. I noticed that there were some blow ups here and there, all these little dragonflies and stuff like that popping the top of the water. So I figured the whopper plopper would be the right thing to do. So I'm gonna get a picture with my phone and we're gonna let this guy go. Not a bad bass. Let's see if we can get some more. What I got here is I got a extreme tournament. Um, it's in a uh, seven foot medium heavy action rod with an extreme six, six one, or no, sorry, seven one one gear ratio. Um, I got this combo at Bass Pro Shops. Not a huge fan of the rod. I like the regular extremes. I don't, the uh, extreme tournament, um, wasn't really a big fan of it, but you know what? I've caught a lot of fish on this rod, so I've been pretty happy with it. It was like a $70 deal. The uh, reel itself was worth it. So went and got that. So that's what I'm using today. All right, guys, let's stick and move. Fish on. Yeah, buddy. Not bad, another one. Still a little guy. It's two. Two out of the first pond. Little fighter here. 
Got a little bit of an empty stomach. Don't feel anything in there. Sometimes another key is you feel their stomachs, you feel any hard, anything hard like shells or anything like that. They're probably eating crayfish. It feels real mushy. They're probably eating fish. But uh, this guy's got a pretty empty stomach, so we'll let him get back in there so he can eat some more. I'm gonna go to the bigger of the three ponds. It's looking pretty good. The water's a lot higher than it was the last few times I was out here. So let's see if we can't pull something out of these weeds. Buddy that lives out here gets the privilege of fishing these ponds whenever he wants. A few years back, caught a seven pounder out of here, so. I hooked into one with a wacky worm. That was probably pretty close to the same. Had light tests on, drug them up on shore, and as soon as I got them up on shore, kind of flipped up and I lost them right at the shoreline. That's my mistake. That was a big bass. See, that's why you take your time creeping up on a spot. I just made a mistake of kind of rushing up on a spot. So had the potential of a big fish and probably lost him. Let's toss the whopper plopper out there a couple times and see, see what we can get. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh yeah. Oh, keep it on, 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 keep it on. Oh, yeah, buddy. Nice, nice. I don't even have to, I don't even have to unhook it. As you can see, that's about an 18 inch fish. Get a weight on this. Okay, we're gonna get a weight. No, I was using a whopper plopper. Oh. What color? Bone white. Think you could uh, snap me a picture? What up? A couple of them if you could. Mm -hmm. I'll get one with the scale. If you can come up a little closer to yeah. try to get that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then uh, let me just get a couple like this if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. If you can go a long way, yeah. Uh, I appreciate it. Yep. Caught a three pounder yesterday on the um, chatterbait. Chatterbait, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I was actually getting ready to tie one on, but the whopper mm -hmm. plopper's been, been doing pretty good for me so far. I've got three. Yeah. So, very cool. I appreciate it. All right. So, again, empty stomach. This could have been a much heavier fish. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. Persistence pays off. Good possibility it was that fish that was sitting by that drainage ditch.
All right, so this is the young man right here that helped me take some pictures of that three and a half pound, 18 inch bass that I just caught. Um, what's your name? Braden. So, you fish out here a lot? Yeah. That's very cool. What was the biggest fish you caught out here? Six pounder. Six pound bass? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Anything else? Big bowfin. Big bowfin. Very cool, very cool. Braden lives out in this area, fishes these ponds a lot. Um, get at them and fish on, Braden. Yep. Thanks a lot. All right, Braden. thanks for helping me again with those uh, pictures, man, and yep. good luck out here for the rest of the year, and don't forget to uh, check me out on YouTube. It's a bass hole, capital B, capital H, two words. Okay. All right, yep. take it easy, man, fish on.